is up YouTube? Subscribers, watchers, artists, critics, keyboard trolls. Glad to be back doing a video down in the studio where I feel pretty comfortable. It's been a little while. Um, <clears throat> you can see we're using a round board today. But I wanted to maybe answer a couple questions or put something to the test. I don't know if you can see, but this board has brush marks in it going different ways. You know, and people always say, I've seen a lot of videos where artists are saying, you have to get your brush marks out, you have to have a smooth base coat, you have to have, you know, your, your primer coat has to be perfect or your, it's going to show through your resin. Is that true? I don't know. We're going to find out. I got blotchy spots, I got dark spots, light spots. <clears throat> you know, is it going to make a difference? I guess we're going to find out. Today... For colors, I'm using uh, Just Resins Turquoise Luster. Awesome. It's a paste. Just Resins Fuchsia. And again, these are all pastes. Just Resins Blueberry. And then Larez's Angel White. Just four colors. And for my resin, as always, we're using Pro Glass. 1000 and Pro Glass has decided to leave the the discount up there for you guys man um, he said that he's had a good response with artists buying his resin and uh, if you go to our description box and click on their link it'll take you to their site and when you place your order when you go to checkout if you put the word Archangel in the code box not only are you going to get 10% off your order, uh, he's going to include shipping and handling for you. And if you'll go on there and look at the price of his resin, it's already cheaper than anything else out there. And the quality of it, I can't, I mean, you guys have seen and heard me talking about it for long enough. The quality is second to none. It's, it's really, really a great resin. And I, I love using it and well, it's the only resin I use, so. Alright, today, and I got a little clear mixed up. Not sure if I'm going to put it on there. Um, <clears throat> I don't really have a direction that I'm going to go in with this piece. We're just going to put some colors on and see what we get. You know, <laughs> I see on the internet, too, uh, and I belong to a couple Facebook uh, groups, resin art groups, and I see people arguing about who invented resin art, where it came from, um, when it started, and I. So I decided, you know, that, that's a pretty good argument. When did it start? It it became popular in about 2008, and it was actually popularized from Australia. They're really big into resin art. And you guys know I'm here in the United States and there's a lot, a lot of resin artists in Australia. New Zealand, Germany, Canada, France. I mean, they're all over, but from what I can tell, Australia really has a a lot of resin artists. So they claim that, hey, we started resin art. Okay, well, I haven't found anything that says that they did, but I haven't found anything that says that they didn't. But what I have found is a pretty strong argument for a guy in California in the early to mid 60s. Man was a surfboard designer. And he uses, of course, you know, fiberglass and resin and everything and making these surfboards. That's how they make them. Well, this man started doing designs, and I don't remember his name. I was doing so much research, and I came across that. thought it was pretty interesting. I almost want to say Marty or Martin. Um, you can Google it for yourself. I'm sure it's pretty easy to find. I found it. But uh, he was doing pretty much resin art on surfboards 
in the early 60s. Designs and, and what have you with the way he was doing his surfboards. And I was thinking, I grew up in California, not in the 60s, but I was a little surfer boy. And, and I remember in the 80s, you know, tie-dyed surfboards, surfboards with all kinds of different designs on them and man they were popular and they looked good and I'm thinking well I always wondered how did they do that well now I know it was basically resin art on the surfboards and again you see I got no design I'm just talking with you guys and throwing a bunch of resin on a piece what's it gonna turn out like hmm I really just wanted to see if a splotchy board and a bad primer job is going to make a difference in your piece. Personally, I don't think so because, you know, you're going to cover it up with resin. So, I don't see how it's really going to make a difference. So, we got the surfer out in California that maybe, maybe not. Started resin art. And resin art. That's another question. Art. Is it art? You got... I see so many people getting so mad. They've come on my channel, uh, commented. I see them in forums coming on and commenting, saying, you know, that's not art. My three-year-old can do that. And I'm like, wow, man, you got a, you got a talented three-year-old. But is it art? I mean, what is art? You know, you got these people that are, you know, I guess what they consider themselves true artists because they're doing portraits, landscapes, you know, what they say they're doing is, is art and what we do is is not art. You know, well, was Jackson Pollock an artist? You know, that's been debated throughout the years. Was he an artist? He dribbled paint on canvases. Hmm. Well, art, the word itself is defined as something that evokes feelings or emotions or passion through your senses. You know, like touch, taste, sight, you know, hearing. It, so if we go by just merely what art, the word art means, well then yeah, you know, resin art is art. But you're still going to get people that that argue that point because it's not it's not a medium that's been around as long as you know. Let's say oil painting. You know that's they're comparing. Does resin art compare to oil painting? Me personally, no. I mean it doesn't. Are we creating Mona Lisas? Are we creating something that's you know, worthy of the Sistine Chapel. I guess that depends on who's looking at it, how you like it. But can you compare it to oil painting and stuff like that? Well, no, you can't. It, it's a different me. It's a different medium. It's a different style. You know, that's like comparing boat racing to auto racing and saying boat racing is not real racing because they don't have tires. Well, that's a silly argument. You know, I mean, it's every bit of racing. It's just different style of racing. You know, and you got people that are going to argue the fact. You know, you got NASCAR people that say, you know, formula racing isn't racing because it's not a real car. They've designed just this purpose-built race car that, it's just not real racing. Then you got F1 fans that say NASCAR is old. You know, we've progressed. That's not real racing anymore. The cars are more safer and faster. And, you know, who's right? I believe they're both right. So I think that art is art. If it makes you feel good, it's art. And that's what the word art is defined as, you know, in evoking an emotion or a feeling. That's just my two cents. I'm going to throw some heat on this and see what we get. Through my course of rambling, I 
<laughs> let this thing just get crazy. And again, I didn't have no direction anyway. I just really wanted to do a piece. And did I make an art piece? Well, I guess that's subject to the eye of the beholder. I mean, that's what art truly is. It's like food, you know? Some people, I'm, I have a cooking channel. It's called Grilling with Grumpy. Y'all go check it out. But with what I do, I have a new style pellet smoker. And even with that being said, you got the purists that say, that's not barbecue, that's not smoking. If you're not using real wood in a pit barbecue, then you just ain't cooking, you know? And is that true? Well, I guess to some folks it is, but is my food turning out the same? Yes, I'm getting the smoke flavor. I'm, it's cooked with real wood. You know, but the same people, the same people that are coming up with that argument, I bet they got a microwave in their house. You know, you could say, hey, that's not how you heat food. That's not how you cook food. You got to put it in the oven for hours. Well, is that true? I don't know. It's called progression, I guess. Well, I kind of like that. I think I'm going to... I'm going to hit it with a little alcohol. See what we get. Well, that's cool. Wow, this is really neat. Through my rambling and talking, I I made art. And yes, I'm calling it art. Because I believe, in fact, it's not a belief. I know for a fact this is art. It may not be art that everybody likes, but nonetheless, through defining of the word art, this is art. So for all you keyboard artists, or however you'd like to describe yourself, we're stamping this art. And there's nothing you can do about it, man! No. I'm not trying to create an argument with anybody. I love oil paintings. I love the fact that somebody can sit and, through their mind, create a portrait. My cousin is one of the best artists that I've ever seen. And yes, he is an artist. He does lifelike portraits and incredible scenes and pictures. He uses colored pencils, paintbrushes, airbrush. He, in every sense of the word, he's an artist. And he considers what I do art. Just a different art form. Which is what it is. It's a different art form. Does that make it any less art? Absolutely not. It's like I say, I'm, I'm a cook. There's a spice called saffron. Very rare, very expensive. And then there's pepper. Very plentiful, very cheap. There's salt, very plentiful, very cheap. Does saffron make salt or pepper not a spice? Absolutely not. It's just a different spice. So, I think, hopefully, maybe, we've cleared that up. I doubt it. <laughs> there's still going to be arguments about, you know... That's not art. Okay, it's not art to you. Carry on. You don't have to comment because you're never going to change it. But, this is my piece of art. And, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you're not already subscribed, now's the time. Go ahead and subscribe and smash that bell. That way you get alerted every time, you, uh, every time we put a new video out. And do me a favor. Go down below and comment. I'm really curious to hear what you have to say. 
comment on is resin art art? Is it art? Is it an art form? Do you consider it an art form? And if not, why do you not consider it an art form? What is it in the process of making this that makes it not art? I'm curious, not in an argumentative way. I would love to hear your thoughts and your just what you think about it. And if you consider it art, comment. Yes, I consider this art. And give me a brief explanation of why you think it's art. Me personally, obviously, you know how I stand on it. I think it's art. You know, it's an art form. So that's my take on it. But I'm really curious to hear your take on it. And if somebody out there has, you know, an absolute on where resin art started or who created I'd be interested in that also not not an opinion you know hey I like Australia so I think Australians did it I, I don't want an opinion I'd like some facts if you can dig up some facts and show me where it started who started it that would be awesome all right guys I'm gonna give you a close-up I'm gonna turn off these overhead lights all right let me grab my camera I think we nailed I think we nailed it I think it's awesome alright guys I'm gonna get out of here Focus, focus, focus. I'm going to get out of here, but before I do, again, go over to my grilling channel, Grilling with Grumpy. Give me some love and support. I know you guys will. I appreciate you guys. I got the best subscribers in the world. We love you guys. So, until next time, you guys keep doing what you do. I'll keep doing what I do. And as always, see ya!